right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. No denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tail of the tape now for this featherweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands. Five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds, fighting out of Sydney, Australia, Silky. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Effective punch there by Lee. Able to check that kick as well. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. There's no tell on that leg kick. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, man, 
this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Lee's kick looked like it might have been a good one, but it gets blocked. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Whip his hip into that kick. Big body kick. Just over three minutes to go now. Nice sneaky head kick. And he landed the right hand there. Right hook to the head, blocked. Man, striking classes in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. <laughs> oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. A miss with that straight left hand. Big head kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he's taking. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. He might as well use it. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. That's a big strike right there. Oh, leg kick is good. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down on his punches and he won't generate the power that he normally generates because he can't really get heavy on his leg. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Big kick lands. Come on, man. Let's get that takeout. Lands the right hand. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You got to start checking these, you man. Got to check these kicks, or you're going to be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Get you, get you. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him, too. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Straight right hand now, just misses. Punch is blocked. Look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. 
Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side, get his head against the back. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the back. He goes down to the down to the skin. Lee's looking to pass it a half guard here, but he's denied. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Lee gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Good punch land. Nice slip to avoid the left. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Shot to the body is blocked. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? What a body. Left right combo is good. Lee going for the body. Missed with that kick. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, there he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike in the night. Good punch. Nice one, two there. himself into these big leg kicks. That strike will count. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh my goodness, he got kicked in the head and he's still standing. Another shot lands upstairs. And that's the end of round number two. Take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. 
All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Nice straight punch. Can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, here's the head kick. It's blocked. as he counters with a punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Beautiful punch. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Body kick. Blocks the shot. Slips to avoid the right. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice punch lands over the top. Some nice back and forth action here. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Big kick lands. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Liver kick. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Lee. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Effective punch there by Lee. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Lee's kick attempt there blocked. Lands with the right hand. Get the turn in that kick. Oh, that'll get his attention. Nice counter on the uppercut. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Good stick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Plus right hand is true. Ooh, blocks the shot. Come on, push through it. Came of right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Here comes that jab. Wow, huge head kick. Big punch lands through the middle. Just missed with the left there. That 
rounds. Three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect. Back to the jab now, no good. Lee gets caught with that punch. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Check these low leg kicks. Looking to land the leg kick now. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. They got him. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws Whoa! is crazy. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Not there. Lee going for the head kick. No dice. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, nice right hand. All right, less than three minutes to go here in round four. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Nice right hand. Oh, big head kick land. What a punch. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Just missed on the overhand left. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Ooh, big shot, man. Connects with a right. Whoa! He's hurt. Serves him up. We'll get him. Oh, look at that. He left up and landed the diving punch to the head. <laughs> Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. That knee lands there. That knee hurt him. Fourth round here, less than a minute to go. Let's go. Hurt his body. Hurt the body. Nice kick. Right hand on point. Checks the leg kick. 
right hand upstairs. Thirty seconds remain in the round. Nice leg kick. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cutman will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, next round is underway. These guys still look Great pretty fight. fresh to me. We know cardio is king in MMA, and these guys have it for days. They have cardio for days. You saw the work rate of the previous round. Let's see if it continues as we start the next round. Oh, big rush land. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. So he blocked the strike there and now counters with the jab. So he's got the reach advantage and he certainly made it count in that exchange. Yeah. He loaded up on that right hand too. Going to the leg kick now and it's there. Nice job by Lee. Move, move. Tonight. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut land. Nice punch by Lee. Missed with that right hand. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Punch coming, it's blocked. Great punch. That's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Oh! Just missing on the high kick there. So under three minutes to go here in the fight. Shot to the body, now blocked by Lee. Nice kick. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a beautiful strike like that knee with? We'll see very shortly. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in <laughs> Tom Brady. Stop him. John, stop him. Big kick lands. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Nice head kick. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Just out of range with that right hook. Wow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, 
really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Close guard. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Beautiful body kick. Oh. Nice strike. Oh! He's out! He's done! He's done! Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at four minutes, 32 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Ruth the Dragon Lee. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out there. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times you hope for the knockout, but he was never hoping. He was sure that he was.